everybody. Welcome to Sing with Susie and happy Wednesday. It's great to see everybody today. I am so excited to be here today and also I'm with Penny who just happened to have a little... Oh, and did you see that? Somebody popped her head in. <laughs> I think we might have another special guest visiting us today. In addition to Penny needing to drink some water right as I'm starting the show, we might have a little special guest. I know that we have my friend Marsha waiting backstage to see you all the way from DC, but oh, and did you see that? I just saw somebody else here. I think we might have somebody else here too. But as I was saying, Marsha and the Positrons, the Positrons are gonna be here in just a little bit. And wait, who is this little one? Come in, come in. I think it's Julia. Come on in, Julia. Yay, say hello. I'm so happy you're here with me today. So Julia's here with us today. We have Marsha waiting backstage. We also have some other friends joining us today. Bobby and Scarlett are gonna be here telling us some jokes for a brand new segment of Now That's Funny. And then, all, like I mentioned, all the way from DC is Marsha from Marsha and the Positrons. And she's gonna be singing a song about penguins and then we're going to be sharing a really cool video about a giant squid and a colossal squid. So we have a huge show today. We're doing a little bit of an ocean theme. So we're going to go ahead and get started by seeing if anybody has a dancing scarf. If you have a dancing scarf there, you can go ahead and get it ready. If you have a mermaid there, you can get your mermaid there. We're going to go ahead and start turning our dancing scarves into a river. Can you go ahead and turn your dancing scarves into a river? Yes, just like that. <laughs> Great. There we go. This song is called River Come Down. River come down, river come down.
you. It's so great to see you. Please go ahead and type in your child's name so that I know who's here today. And you can go ahead and let us know where you're watching from. Last month, we celebrated one full year of Sing With Susie Live. And in that year, we have grown to where we have friends watching in over 25 states and in over 24 countries. That's so amazing. And on Sing With Susie, we are committed to highlighting women, voices of color, and of all backgrounds and abilities. And everyone is welcome here. I also want to give a very special shout out to our sponsors this month at Eventage, a boutique event production agency that does big things. Special thank you to them and also to our media sponsors, Park Slope Parents. You can check them out at parksloparents.com. All right, let's see who's here. We have so many friends watching today. Abby is here. Zoe and Kai are here from Brooklyn. My mom is here and says, hi, happy day. And Maddie and Papa Chris are watching. And Tanya from Pennsylvania. Our friend Joe is here. Rachel is here. Joe is watching from Jupiter. <laughs> and Grandma says, Julia again. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Tanya saying hi to Julia and to Penny. And we have Scarlett and Bobby watching. We have Narcissa Sophia watching in Minnesota. <laughs> we have Mike watching. We have Joanne is watching from Ireland with Claire. And big hello to their friends Lisa and Narcissa. Oh my goodness, we have Gracie watching. Hi, Gracie from Charlotte. And we have Taylor from Dallas. Great to see everybody. All right, Julia, I think it's time to see if our very special guest, Marsha, is ready. If she can just give us the thumbs up. She's ready. Let's have everyone, please, from home, welcome to the stage with a big Sing With Susie welcome, Marsha from Marsha and the Positrons. Hi. Hi, Marsha. Thank you so much for having me. It's so nice to be here today. Oh, I love that you're here with, with us today. Thank you for joining us and for taking the time to sing with us today. My pleasure. <laughs> And I'm excited about our theme today, too, which I is love the oceans, oceans and sea creatures. Love, love all the sea creatures. Thank you. Oceans and sea creatures. And I'm so excited that you have so much material with We even oceans have a mermaid and, here. And we right? have a mermaid here. That's right. <laughs> And you do a lot of songs and a lot of your material has to do with science. Do you want to tell us a little bit about how you came up with that as your, yeah. as your motivation for your music? So I'm actually a scientist and I used to be a brain scientist. It's called a cognitive neuroscientist. So oh that's what gosh. that's what I used to do. I used to study the brain. And so I love all kinds of science. And um, a lot of times I feel like when ki kids are sort of natural scientists. And so kids ask a lot of why questions and scientists ask a a lot of why questions. So sometimes when you get in a conversation with a kid, like my own kids or my students, sometimes they ask these why questions. And to me, the answer is, usually, is often a science answer. And some of those conversations and questions have turned into songs. So that Love sort of inspired that. a lot of a lot of my songs uh, were from from conversations and sort of trying to answer questions in sort of the best scientific kind of way. And uh, and then I just like science. So sometimes some I, I read about something or hear about something and um, it inspires a song for me somehow. I <laughs> so. love that. And also when you sing it, it actually stays in our brain a little bit, right? Like we're able to remember yeah, some facts I think, a little you know, bit easier. Absolutely. Like songs are so great for learning all kinds of things. And, and so I like to stick some science facts in there because I feel like it's always fun to learn it with a song mm -hmm. and it sticks in your head and so I fact check my songs and and then I just try to make it fun because I feel like you know we we got to have fun with science and then it sort of maybe will inspire some young young scientists to to think That's about right. something new and explore something new so yeah oh, I love that and I can't wait for you to share your penguin song so why don't we go ahead and have you sing for us the penguin song oh right and this one this one did come out of a conversation so this one um came out of a conversation with my my middle son who is now a teenager but when he was in preschool <laughs> um there was a child in his class who was really interested in penguins and so they kept talking about penguins and they started studying penguins and he would come home and tell me all these penguin facts like did you know that i'm almost as tall as an emperor penguin and that's the biggest penguin and he would tell me all kinds of stuff so um that turned into this song this is called the penguin song it was one of the first um kid songs i wrote actually Amazing. and so 
for the, all the kids at home, um, it, this is a good one. We're going to be in this song. The penguins like to tap dance. So okay. you can tap your feet. You can do it whether you're sitting or standing. Um, we're going to be tapping our feet, sticking out our flippers and puffing up our chest. And y- you know how penguins move. They waddle. So we are going to be waddling, sticking out our flippers, puffing up our chest and tapping our toes. This is the penguin song. about penguins I know they don't live in France they live near the South Pole near the Antarctic Circle and I can do the penguin dance you use your flippers as a guide as you rock from side to side you stretch out your wings and puff up your chest with pride and then you tap 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 your little web toes and that's all there is to it that's just how it goes okay so stick out those flippers tap your toes i have learned a lot about penguins i know that they don't prance they swim in the water and they eat fresh fish and they waddle when they do their penguin dance you use your flippers as a guide as you rock from side to side you stretch out your wings and puff up your chest with pride and then you tap 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 your little web toes and that's all there is to it that's just how it goes okay time for a penguin dance break go ahead and tap your toes stick out your chest stick out your flippers oh i've learned a lot about penguins I know they're much bigger than ants. The emperor is tall and the little blue is small, but they all can do the penguin dance. You use your flippers as a guide as you rock from side to side. You stretch out your wings and puff up your chest with pride. And then you tap, tap, tap your little web toes. I think Yay. you were dancing. I saw you guys dancing, even we saw the mermaid dancing. dancing. The yeah. mermaid was dancing. Show us, do you want to show us your mermaid? Julia's working It's a little on hard the- for mermaids to do that particular song because they don't have toes to tap. So I guess they right. have to tap their flippers instead. She, exactly. Right? She had to tap her flippers. Or their, their tail. I don't know. Is there tail? Whatever their, whatever the official name for a mermaid tail, tail is. Yes. Just a tail. Yeah. Tail. It's not a flipper. Sorry. Oh my gosh, Marcia, I'm, I'm, that was so, that was so much fun. We had some jazzy chords in the middle there too. <laughs> I love it. Live, hey. You yeah. know, I got distracted by watching myself because, <laughs> you know, it's funny when you're doing these vi- these virtual shows, you're like looking at yourself singing back. So Aww. anyway, that's well, all my good. my mom <laughs> said, so fun to learn about penguins. Yay, and thank you. And she gave us some, some applause as well. And thank we you, have Susie's a couple mom. more friends joining us. We have Kieran from Chicago and we have Teddy watching. So giving shout Hi. outs to them as well. So, so nice to see you all. Yay. Yeah, it's so great. We have so many friends watching and learning about penguins. Love it. And also, <laughs> I wanted to share that you're going to be starting to do, um, you're, you're working on a new album, correct? Yeah, like well, uh, we haven't yet like done anything about starting to record. We're sort of waiting until it's safe for our band yeah. to be together and everything. But I've been writing some songs, great. so I'm excited about that. That. and um, we, are, we are playing some outdoor shows this summer Yay. so we're excited to be able to do that we're playing uh, in, in Reston Virginia at the Nature Center there Reston nice. at the I think I've forgotten the, it's a Walker Nature Center I believe okay. uh, May 1st and we have some Yay. shows in some more shows in Virginia and Fairfax County over the summer so I'm gonna update my website I have to do, I have to do all that it, you know we're all 
well independent musician so I do I do that stuff too <laughs> so I have to update I'll put that all on my website by the end of the week that's my Perfect. goal to get that up there okay. by the end of the week so if anybody is nearby and wants to come to a show we might actually be stre- live streaming that nature center oh, show on May nice. 1st too so you can always come to my Facebook page or to Instagram and and I'll I'll give you guys the details of where you can tune in for that and stuff. also you have a cool Spotify playlist about science and how the world works so friends who are on Spotify can find Marsha there. Yep, and I have two records, and so they're they're there great. together on that playlist. Also with um, with a single that I put out um, this past year about virtual school. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> Which Julia knows all about because she is in virtual school half the time now. She's yeah. back in blended, so she has started to go back to school. And Julia wanted to say hello to some of her family awesome. members. Go ahead, Julia. Uh-huh. Oh, awesome. Yes. So maybe and they'll come to see us if you have any, any young friends her and young cousins, cousins. Her cousins, maybe they would, would come. That would be awesome. And aunts and uncles, that's right. And your grandma and grandpa are there too. That's right. Fabulous. Um, well, thank you so much, Marsha. We are we're going to say goodbye to you now, but we're going to be featuring your awesome music video about the giant and colossal school in just a little bit and so Fabulous. I hope our friends will stick around till that till the end to see your music video and if you want to find out anything more about Marsha and the Positrons you can visit her website at Marsha and the Positrons.com nice and I'll give a shout out in that video you'll see my bandmates you'll see my mm-hmm. bass player Wardell Howell and my um, multi-instrumentalist Ayana Gallant who was who was playing the tambourine in that video okay. um, and then and Kristen Kristen Aaron who plays the djembe drum oh, um, yeah. my we also have a, a, a violin player now a fiddle player shell ah. folk but she she joined us after we made that video so it's the four of us in that video and and uh, hopefully you'll be dancing like squid at home yes definitely <laughs> thank you so much yay Marcia. thanks so much Susie thanks for being on the show yay. bye bye see you soon <laughs> oh that was so much fun thank you Marsha And we, gosh, we have such a big show today with our ocean theme. I wanted to go ahead now and we're going to have a brand new episode of Now That's Funny with my new host for this episode today, Bobby and Scarlett. So they have some jokes for us and let's see, I think they have an ocean theme as well. So let's go ahead and check in with Bobby and Scarlett. Sharks works in construction. What? A hammerhead shark! <laughs> okay. I got one for you. What did the wave say to the other wave? What? Nothing. He just waved. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was a good joke, wasn't it? Those were a couple good jokes. Thank you so much, Bobby and Scarlett. And um, we also got a joke from my friend Arnold, who wrote this in for us to feature today. Arnold asks, why did the cowboy have a dachshund? Oh, look, we have a dachshund right there. Why did the cowboy have a dachshund? Why do you think, Julia? I don't know. Because they sing, get along, little (laughs) doggy. Aw, I'm not sure Penny thought that was funny because she is now taking her nap. But <laughs> Thank you, Arnold. I love that joke. That was a great one. Um, we also have another special, special feature with Bobby and Scarlett. This is something they came up with all on their own. So a special shout out to their dad, Mike, and his wife for putting this together. But this is a challenge. This is something that we have never had before on the show. This is a no laugh challenge. And I wonder, Julia, after the show, if we can try this no laugh challenge. So here is Bobby and Scarlett and the first ever on Sing With Susie Live no laugh challenge. All right, kiddos. What I'm going to do is tell you a bunch of jokes. They're ocean-themed jokes. <laughs> what you guys have to do is try not to laugh. Oh. You lose points if water comes out of your mouth if you laugh at these jokes, right? <laughs> All right, put water in your mouth and get ready for the first joke. What did the beach say to the wave? 
Long tide, no sea. <laughs> okay. Right. What did Cinderella wear? I, I love, I love, I love. All right. One minus point. No, I didn't drink it. All right. Get water in your mouth. What did Cinderella wear when she swam in the ocean? Mm. Glass flippers. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it water. Keep it water. A little bit. A little bit. Why did the octopus cross the road? Why? To get to the other tide. <laughs> what do sea monsters eat? Fish and ships. <laughs> Maybe you guys aren't familiar with fish and ships. What kind of hair do oceans have? What? Wavy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh. <laughs> All right. Last joke. Wait, wait. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. All right. What did one wave? Say to the other wave. Nothing. It waved. <laughs> I get it. All right. Dang, dang. I'm gonna say Scarlet won. Mm -hmm. Good job, guys. and Scarlett, thank you so much. That was such a great challenge. Julia, do you think we could do that? Do you think you would win or lose? Lose, I would just spit it out every time. You would spit it out every time. <laughs> I also just want to give another special shout out to our sponsors this week at Eventage. Good people, great events, and they really are good people. And in fact, those friends, Bobby and Scarlett, are part of the family of Eventage. So thank you so much for um, sponsoring our shows this week and for offering up that no laugh challenge, which I think we might have to have a rematch because that was so, so much fun. All right, so I think that without further ado, I think it might be time to share Marsha's cool video about giant and colossal squid. And as a lot of her songs are very informative, this song also, you're gonna learn a lot of facts about giant squids and colossal squids that I didn't know until I saw the video. So here we go. Dance 
they've got three instead of just one beating heart. But you know what? The squid are missing something too. Right, it's bones. Want to sing about it? <laughs> Let's sing. Bones, they've got no bones. <laughs> the marinara sauce hold hold the, the bones hold the bones <laughs> hold the hold the rest of the octopus too <laughs> And I just found out that the voice of the giant squid was the famous Barry, Barry Louis Pulitzer, Barry Louis Pulitzer, who ha is a very famous singer songwriter for kids and adults. And so that's awesome. That is such some great information to find out. And thank you so much for sharing that video with us. Um, please, friends, you can find out more about Marsha and the Positrons at MarshaandThePositrons.com. And just want to mention a couple of things before we say goodbye. Um, there is a kids music matchup happening this Saturday, April 17th, between 5, 12 and 5 p.m. Eastern Time. It's the annual fundraiser for the Children's Music Network. And you can find out more information on where to view that at childrensmusic.org. I will be watching and supporting. I'm not performing, but so many of my friends are performing in this kids music mashup. And our friend Joe who is watching the show today will be helping out with tech during the show. So thank you, Joe, for doing that. And also hope to see many friends watching that this weekend. Just to let you know that Sing With Susie is live every Monday and Wednesday at 4 p.m. on both Facebook and YouTube. And thank you again to our special sponsors for this month at Advantage the boutique event production agency that does big things. And a special thank you to Bobby and Scarlett for your jokes for Now That's Funny and also for the No Laugh Challenge. And a very special thank you to our special guest, Marsha from Marsha and the Positrons. All right, I think that's all we have time for today, friends. We'll see you again on Monday. Next week, I'll be featuring my friend Maytar Borkash, who will be playing violin and singing a lullaby for us. And on Wednesday, we have Nate Shaw is back with big music games. So hope to see everybody then. And we are sending you so much love and so much support. And there's a little bit of Penny sleeping over there from our couch in our living room in Brooklyn to wherever it is that you're watching. And we'll see you again on Monday. Have a great rest of your week, friends. Bye.